Okay, and uh, forgot to tell you guys, I've built brackets. So that's now permanently attached. Oh man, someone stole my oil filter. All right, anyways, that's permanently attached. That's permanently attached. I've built brackets for the radiator. So it's in there. Uh, I can still access the cap, but the cap is semi tucked. And the water hose, actually, the coolant bottle is over there, which is going to end up right down here. I have to get a drill hole for it. And the lines are like, like we had them before. You just kind of wrap like that. And I've had to buy a hose adapter, a couple of adapters, going from one and a quarter down to one. And I still have to add some uh, joints on order that are doing this to a one inch and you got more joints coming in for the hoses and everything so that's the uh, update on that side and we we're just talking about how we we're gonna build the plates and reinforce everything I bought oh, another reason why I bought this one is because it has the brake master cylinder uh, what do you call it the I don't know, this thing, this feature that pushes up against the brake master cylinder so when you brake really hard, the brake master cylinder does not shift this way. It stays in the same spot. And believe it or not, I've already felt that problem on my other cars. So, it's good to have. That's how it currently looks. Don't, don't think about the gap in the bumper and headlight. That's not going to be there once everything's done.